What is going on everyone? Welcome to the vlog. It is May 7th, 2020. And ugh, today, uh, workout wise, no workout today. It is a rest day, uh, recovery day. And today I've just been doing some computer work, trying to get caught up on work. Also just organizing a little bit. The apartment, it was getting a little bit cluttered. So uh, doing the laundry right now, stuff is in the dryer, did the dishes, uh, I'm gonna cook some food later, did some other stuff, but I'm feeling a little bit better. Feels, I think like if your apartment is cluttered, your mind gets cluttered. Uh, and it was definitely cluttered the past couple days. So uh, got everything fairly organized, but uh, today I'm gonna show you kind of what my recovery day looks like. Uh, my hamstrings are so sore. I think I just overworked them a couple days ago when I was doing my lower body workout. Uh, so I'll show you some tips and tricks to do uh, when you're feeling a little bit more on the sore side. Usually the first thing I say is if you're always sore is check your training program because you probably want to modify it so you're not as sore the next couple days. It's okay to be sore a little bit, but if you can barely walk, then you should probably manipulate something in your workout program. So feeling a little bit more on the sore side recently in the past couple of days. So I'm gonna run through a little bit of a recovery routine today. So let's get it started with, where is it? The massage gun. Uh, so what I like to do is watch TV. I'll just use the massage gun on myself. Just, just feels really good. And then I'll get into the next step. Also, if you guys are watching this, uh, I have a giveaway on my Instagram page to get one of these. So if you're watching this in time, go get, go check it out. Go comment and post and whatever you, you, you know, the stuff you do on Instagram giveaways. Uh, so I'm going to work on my body, especially my lower body, and then and watch something on TV. And I get a lot of questions on how to use the massage gun. And to be honest, it's it's pretty much just a point and shoot. It's like getting a massage. So you just put it on whatever muscle you want to, um, and you can put it on whatever level you want. And then I just like to go over it once in a while. I won't overdo it, but uh, to be honest, there's not really that much uh, method to the madness. You just kind of point and shoot and just work on whatever you want to work on. You know, there's different attachments to the bigger it is or like the more broad the surface is like this one is like a button or a um, I don't even know what you call this more flathead uh, probably a little bit better for broader muscles uh, and then there's ones that are one looks like a fork and one kind of looks like a bullet and those are just more direct pressure but other than that kind of just find what works best for you and what feels good for you All right, that's it for the massage gun. I uh, ran through the quads, the hamstrings, especially the hamstrings, a little bit on the inner thigh and calves. Uh, so I'm gonna stand up and already feels way better, way less sore. And now, uh, let's move in a little bit. Let's get moving. So I'm gonna hit up the Airdyne bike. Uh, hold up. Let me grab my cell phone and my headphone so I can listen to something while I go on the bike. Got a golfer out here. That's as far as I can zoom. But I'm gonna hit the bike and do a little bit of cardio, but nothing crazy, just about, uh, just some low intensity like five to 10 minutes, get the legs moving a little bit, get the blood flowing and the legs, and then we're gonna head back inside. All right, so I just did a, about five minutes, not too long of uh, the Airdyne bike. And again, just getting the legs moving, uh, that's kind of the, the goal there. <clears throat> Ugh. The goal there is just get the legs moving, get some blood flowing, and usually after that your lower body will start feeling a little bit better. And now we're going to do a little bit of a um, kind of a stretch. Uh, you've probably seen it before. It's 
something I would do before a workout. And I'm gonna do the world's greatest stretch just a couple times on each side, maybe like five times on each side. Again, that's gonna help get the legs moving and it's a full body movement and just gets you feeling good. And then after that, I call it a day. So let me show you that. So now we'll get into world's greatest stretch and Sometimes I like to do the pieces separately, the moves separately, and sometimes I'll string them together like you usually see in a warm up. But I'll start down here. Usually you can start standing. And I'll go from here, bring one leg up, and then I'll drop that elbow down, reach up. And then you would bring your arm over here and then kick your hip up, and that is very tight. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do that first move uh, five times. So bring the elbow down, rotate up, and then I'm gonna do the butt up into the air five times, and I'll switch sides, see how I feel. But try to go a little bit further on each rep. Forgot what I was doing there. Arm here, then kick up. One, two, three, four, five. Let's switch sides. So five rounds, five reps <clears throat> on each side. I'll probably do that one one more time or two more times. And that's pretty much what I'll do. A little sequence that I will do if I'm like super sore and I just need to feel a little bit better. It's pretty good. Uh, and I like to do, again, the massage stuff first and going into the bike after. Because if I did that world's greatest stretch, it'll still be really good, but I would be so much more tight when I start it, start that sequence. And it just feels a little bit better when I do the massage gun. And I go on the bike after and that's pretty much it also make sure you're sleeping good make sure you're eating right make sure you're getting good hydration try to reduce the stress that's all in the whole recovery um, kind of pyramid so make sure you got all of those things in place and that is it for vlog number 14 and I will catch you guys tomorrow